Good morning, this is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. Plenty to catch up on this week if you've taken the long weekend. Friday's fireworks on financial markets, especially bonds and currencies, drove another day of falls to cap a brutal week for investors. The surging interest rates and foreign currency turmoil heightened fears of a global recession, and this in turn once again undermined equities and sent commodity prices tumbling, all of which will make today a tough session for the ASX. In fact, Friday probably marked the start of the capitulation phase of financial markets, especially in the US, UK and much of Europe. A majority of equity investors have now adopted the view that a hard landing scenario is inevitable and their focus is on the timing, magnitude and duration of a potential recession and the investment strategies for that outlook. On Friday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average tumbled 1.62%, the S&P 500 1.72% and the Nasdaq dropped 1.8%. The major averages capped their fifth negative week in six, with the Dow giving up 4%, the S&P 500 4.65% and the Nasdaq just over 5%. Many of the US benchmarks touch bear market territory for the first time since June. Friday's fall marked the fourth negative session in a row for stocks as the Fed on Wednesday enacted another supersized rate hike of 75 basis points and indicated it would do another in its November meeting. Suddenly, market worries about currency values have joined rising inflation and making a comeback as the topic of the day and a rerun of what was in vogue in financial markets in the 70s, 80s and 90s. The British pound hit a three-decade low against the US dollar after a new UK economic plan indicated a slew of tax cuts that rattled markets that are fearing inflation above all right now. UK consumer confidence data hit its weakest level on record. Across the sectors, stocks positioned to suffer the most in a recession led the day's losses with the S&P 500's consumer discretionary sector falling 2.3% and down almost 7% for the week. Growth stocks including big technology names like Apple, Amazon, Microsoft and Meta platforms fell on Friday. The coming third quarter earnings season is also a big focus, especially the, the degree to which estimates may need to come down to reflect deteriorating macro backdrop. Oil prices plunged about 5% to an eight-month low on Friday as the US dollar hit its strongest level in more than two decades. The energy sector slumped close to 9% for the week and down 6.75% on the day. It seems that the macro picture is drowning equity markets at the moment as equity managers scramble to buy put option downside protection as demand and option premium increases rapidly. Purchases of put option contracts on stocks and exchange traded funds have surged, with big money managers spending $34 billion on the options market in the four weeks to September 23. The total was the largest on record in data going back to 2009. On the currency front, the US dollar index was up 1.5% and rose more than 2.5% this week. One Australian dollar fell heavily, buying 65.21 US cents. On the commodity front, rising interest rates, the soaring US dollar and renewed recession worries sent commodity prices lower on Friday, ending a week that saw downward pressure on oil, metals and gold and precious metals, along with agricultural commodities. Iron ore futures are pointing to a 1.1% fall today. Gold lost 1.5%, silver was down 3.6%, copper lost 3.7% and oil of course lost 5.7% a barrel. On the ASX this morning, the SPY futures are pointing to a 1.3% fall. Watch out as inflation takes centre stage in Australia this Wednesday with the quarterly consumer price index. This is Tim McGowan for the Finance News Network. Have a good day.